folks, today is Thursday, April 7th, and because it is Thursday, it means that today is my choir rehearsal day. My choir is awesome. I love singing with a really big group. We have, I think, about 150 people. It's a really huge group. Um, and I've been singing with them for just over a year. This will be my third season. Um, that being said, I do love it, but I also sometimes feel like I'm the, the kind of the charming toddler of the group. Um, and there are a couple of reasons for that. One of which is that I am one of the youngest people in the group. We have people who are grandparents, we have people who are parents and working full-time and part-time. It's just a really huge age range and uh, sort of range of experience. Uh, and I am 24 and have a relatively limited experience in comparison to a lot of these people. Um, so some of it is age. Another reason that I feel like I'm the charming toddler of the group is that I am so much less music musically educated than the vast majority of the people in this group, or at least I feel like it. Um, I can barely read music at all. I'm surprised that they let me in. <laughs> um, and I'm sitting next to people who uh, sing professionally and who work in the music industry in some fashion and I'm just like trying to learn all these songs by ear which is nuts and really really hard so I sometimes feel like I'm just like yeah I don't know what I'm doing and people are like yeah you don't know what you're doing <laughs> sometimes I can get away with it Sometimes I just can't. And another reason that I feel like I'm sort of just like the little kid of the group is because I feel like a lot of people in the choir know who I am, even though I don't necessarily know who they are. <laughs> Some of this may be because I take sort of active roles that are maybe more visible than others. Um, I help uh, set up the microphones and the speaker system before rehearsals and so people see me moving around and that and um, and I tend to ask questions if I'm confused which can be a lot of the time and I also want to say that um, I'm still in this group because I do love it and this like realization that I'm this charming toddler character uh, doesn't change my love of being in this choir. And there are like two main reasons for that, one of which is that I still feel respected by the people that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis within rehearsals and things. Um, the people that I've got to know on a more personal level, whether those are the like handful of people who are closer to my age, or it's the people who are a little bit older, I think that they see that I have less life experience than they do, but they're also good at just listening and not calling out my immaturity. Um, and I'm really, really grateful for that. We're here to sing. We're here to sing and we're here to have fun. So that's what we do. And none of the rest of it matters. Related note, I'm in a choir and we have a concert. Uh, it's still a little ways away in June, but if you are in Los Angeles and interested in coming to see my concert, um, it will be the first weekend in June this season. The concert is called Rhythm Planet. It's something that makes me really happy and uh, also makes me really happy to 
see people coming into the spaces and uh, enjoying just really great music. Because I'm totally objective in saying that we make really great music. Also, like, people who are objective have said that, so, you know. Bottom line, I love my choir, and I hope that you are doing something that you love today as well. Uh, happy Vida, everybody.